now because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look at your genre, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Okay, let's do some math. One, huge selection. Two, no dealer markups. Three, lower taxes. Four, 65 miles to savings. You don't have to be a mathematician to see these numbers add up to Wild West Chevrolet being the smart choice. What's your number? Check us out online or in Earrington. Watch NSN Tonight, weeknights at 10.35 p.m. following the Fox 11 News at 10. And on Nevada Sportsnet at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Here, Vegas means victory. Watch your Knights defend the Red. To the far hand and he scores! The Vegas Golden Knights host the Boston Bruins. Coverage starts Thursday night at 6.30, only on Nevada Sportsnet. Nevada's Trey Coleman is now balancing basketball school and more with being a young father. The recently turned 22-year-old has a brand new baby girl. We're going to feature his story coming up at halftime of this game, but here is a little taste for you. Down in the post, double team, shot clock at three, steal. Here's Coleman ahead of the pack, slammed up. Trey Coleman's Nevada career has been all gas and no breaks. It's been a long journey, but it seems like it just it went so fast. Being 18 to already 21. Finds Coleman for the open look, and Trey Coleman hits the triple. While in silver and blue, the Jeffersonville, Indiana product has gone from a boy to a man, <coughs> and now to a father. Is my daughter Isla. In August, Coleman and former Wolfpack player Bethany Karstens welcoming Isla Renee to the world. Is precious. <laughs> Can you imagine being a student athlete and balancing having a child? I certainly can't. Uh, Trey doing his best and certainly playing and living for little Isla Renee nowadays. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, just being a college student is a full-time job. Just being a college basketball player is a full-time job. And certainly being a father mm -hmm. is like a two-times full-time job. So he's got a bunch of full-time jobs trying to juggle all of that on the court, having his best season at Nevada. He's a fantastic defensive player, but he's really, um, I think, developed some skills offensively this year. But, uh, you know, you got to have a lot of perspective when you are a dad that yeah there's a lot of pressure to go out there and perform and I'm sure he wants to play professional basketball and I'm sure he wants to get Nevada to a Mountain West championship and win an NCAA tournament but when he steps off that floor and gets to hold his daughter and bring her to press conferences uh, or give her a kiss before a game uh, hopefully that does level him out a little right. bit and tell him that this is just a game I'm playing real life I have a lot more responsibilities. It felt very much like he is starting to or definitely has that perspective as of this point. He still is a very young man. Uh, but anyways, I was, I was glad to connect with him, connect with Isla, and he gave a ton of credit to mom, Bethany, who, of course, uh, formerly played for the Wolfpack. So you'll see that full, uh, full story coming up at halftime of tonight's Nevada Air Force battle. Also, Steve Alford, when we talked, it was coming off of the Drake game, and he goes, you know, she wasn't at the Drake game. I didn't really like his performance. <laughs> I didn't really like anybody else's performance. Maybe we need to get her to as many of these games as yeah. possible. He also told a story that when they went and played that scrimmage at Oregon, yeah. uh, Trey went and got some stuff at the Nike store, and Coach Alford asked, well, where's the stuff for baby girl? And he didn't have anything, and he said, that's lesson number one. You go and buy stuff for yourself. You got to get stuff for the kids as well. Bring her home something. So some really fun stories just talking about him being a dad. Those anecdotes and more coming up in the story. Don't forget, they're in Adidas school, though, Coach. Might be, <laughs> Coach might be upset with you if, if you heard that one. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we'll uh, take a look around the Mountain West because, boy, is it a strong conference. We're talking five bids in March. Crazier things have happened. All of that and more coming up next on the Wolfpack pregame show. Dear Winter, we're coming. Our squad of vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of our game. Bundle up. Toyota. Toyota has 22 all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, more than any other brand. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places.
you know, in my lifetime, I've been knocked around a few times. No matter how many times you get knocked down, hell, you got to get up off the turf. Back pain, knee pain, you name it, I had it. But when I walked into the Good Feet store and got fitted for my arch support, I feel so much better. Very little pain in my back. I feel no pain in my knee. It is nothing like it. No matter who you are, whatever position you hold, in some way, we can help somebody. That's what the Good Feet store does. They help you keep going with life. This is the first new ad Bradley Drenlin Janae has made in about two years. Instead of filming new ads, we've been doing what we do best, representing our clients after a life-changing accident or injury. And they need us working on their cases, not new commercials. So that's what we decided to film. Your work is more important than this. Bradley Drendelin Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Wrapping things up here on the Wolfpack pregame show brought to you by your Northern Nevada Toyota dealers. Gearing up for Nevada and Air Force. The Wolfpack returning home, Chris, 14-1, and one, and let's call it what it is. This would be a really bad loss against Air Force. On the other side, it would be a monumental win if you're the Falcons. Let's get into Chris's three keys and a prediction. Key number one, push the tempo. Yeah, Air Force wants to play super slow. I think the only one they win this game is to limit the number of possessions, hit some threes, create some turnovers. You look at Nevada's history against Air Force, as we mentioned earlier in the show, 17 and three overall. When Nevada scores 71 or more points against Air Force, 15 and 0 when they score 70 or less, 2 and 3. So if this game gets into the 70s, Nevada's going to win. The only way it doesn't is if it plays the kind of game that Air Force wants to play, which is very slow, very methodical, put everyone to sleep, and maybe make some shots at the end of the game. Coach Alfred also did mention in that interview going from Fresno State and the quick turnaround to take on the Princeton offense isn't the easiest thing to do, so we'll see how Nevada comes out to start this one. Key number two, use your athleticism. Yeah, Nevada's the way more athletic team. I think that's the biggest advantage they have in this game. I think they should be able to get to the free throw line pretty regularly. Now, Air Force is probably going to sit in a zone for most of the game to try and keep Keenan Blackshear from getting into the paint and making plays for himself and others. You look at Air Force's rotation, nobody taller than six foot seven. Certainly, Nevada has the uh, athleticism. They've got the length, they've got the size, they got to use all those to their advantage. Key number three, high defensive <laughs> awareness. Don't get bored with these guys. Well, and it's not even just that. <laughs> I mean, like you said, they play the Princeton offense, yeah. right? Usually you want a couple of days to prepare for that because that's a motion offense. It's a little bit unusual. They want to move the ball as much as they move the players. They want to hit you with backdoor cuts and get easy layups at the rim. Uh, this is the only team in the country uh, outside of Princeton and a couple of Ivy Leagues that play this kind of style. So um, they're going to use the full 30-second shot clock. They're not going to take an early shot. They're going to move the ball around and can you stay focused for 30 seconds and not allow an easy shot at the rim? You look at Air Force, they shoot uh, you know, really high percentage inside the two-point line as well. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing. Air Force's offense is bad. It's like 240th in Ken Palm. It's not a good offense. But if it lulls you to sleep and you're not fully focused, it can make some plays. Will the Falcons run into a buzzsaw tonight as Nevada returns home to Lawler Event Center? We are about to find out. What's your prediction? Uh, thank you for your service, Air Force, but I don't think you're going to win this yeah. game. I have Nevada winning 81 to 60, as you saw. Air Force lost by 28 at home in their Mountain West opener to Utah State. Nevada's right at that same caliber. Air Force on the road. I think the Wolfpack wins this one. They cover the 15-point spread. The Wolfpack has Mountain West Championship aspirations. The next opponent, Air Force. Tip-off between the Wolfpack and the Falcons. Coming up right after this on Nevada Sportsnet as Alex Margulies, Keith Fuchs, and Shannon Kelly bring you the call. For Chris Murray, I'm Mike Stephenson. Shout-out to the guys upstairs. Don't forget about the Trey Coleman feature at halftime. And we'll see ya for Wolfpack Hoops, Nevada and Air Force, right after this. You're watching Nevada Sportsnet. At Key Acura, we know that the purchasing experience is just as important as the car you drive. That's why we offer our limited engagement sales process, making your purchase quick, seamless, and smooth. Find yours at Key Acura of Reno. When injured in an accident, seek justice, seek integrity, seek Nevada's trusted personal injury attorneys. Go lightly in Nevada, 222-3333. I was really worried about my daughter. I couldn't do anything right. I was always getting yelled at. She was getting into trouble at school. I was afraid she was going to get kicked out. I felt like nobody liked me. We needed help. I needed help. I called Mobile Crisis Response and a team 
came to our house that day. I didn't know how to tell my mom what was happening at school and how I was feeling. Sometimes, understanding what children are experiencing can be difficult. The Nevada Children's Mobile Crisis Response Team provides mental health intervention and support. Learn more at NoCrisis.com. At Learner Row, we've recovered billions of dollars for over 150,000 clients with over one billion in the last five years alone. We're getting more money for more people, period. Results matter. Call 644 at Key Acura, we know that the purchasing experience is just as important as the car you drive. That's why we offer our limited engagement sales process, making your purchase quick, seamless, and smooth. Find yours at Key Acura of Reno. Two, one. It's a chilly night in Reno, Nevada, at the campus of the University of Nevada. Mountain West basketball action. It's the Wolfpack and the Falcons. Our telecast presented by your Northern Nevada Toyota dealers, Toyota. Let's go places. And welcome to Courtside. Happy New Year alongside former Wolfpack guard Keith Fuchs. I'm Alex Margulies. The Wolfpack absolutely rolling right now, Keith. 14 and one on the season, seven wins in a row, including their first in Mountain West play out on the road against Fresno State. Well, it was a great way to start Mountain West play with a 15-point victory on the road, and now they want to keep it going at home. A good start here with Air Force, but they got a lot of competition coming in the Mountain West. Want to get it off to a good start here tonight. All right, let's take a look at our player spotlight. That's presented by Renowned Health, the area's largest and most comprehensive health care network. For the Wolfpack, so many different guys that can beat you. One of them is Jared Lucas, and the senior guard is playing arguably his best basketball. Well, he won the MVP at the Diamond Head Classic in Hawaii, then carried that over to Fresno State, where he shot 100% from three, over 50% from the field. When he's shooting like that, Nevada is nearly impossible to stop. On the other side, for the Falcons running this Princeton offensive attack, Ethan Taylor has also been one of the best guards in the Mountain West Conference, and he recorded a triple-double against the Wolfpack back in 2022 so this is a guy that can really get it going. He can get it going he's the do-it-all guy for Air Force barely even comes off the floor plays almost 39 minutes a game he's gonna run around in this offense try to wreak havoc he can knock down open threes and create plays for his teammates. All right it's the Mountain West Conference home opener for the Wolfpack welcoming in the Air Force Falcons. We'll give you the starting lineups and we will tip the ball in the air coming up next right here on Nevada Sports Network. Chairlift. Let's try this my way. With available four-wheel drive that takes me straight to the top in style. And a wild side that's always ready for whatever's next. Keep it wild. Forerunner. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. We're offering our free loans up to $5,000. Really, zero fees and free interest on a loan for a full week. But what happens after the free week? Let's say you borrow $500. The first week is on us. And after that, it'll only cost you $2.75 per day. If you need that $500 for an additional week, it would cost you less than 20 bucks in interest. Your first loan is on us. Is your house catching a cold? It could be furnace problems. Schedule a tune-up today. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air for all your home heating needs. With over 20 years of being locally owned, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your go-to for home heating because we treat our customers like family. Nevada fans, bump up your Wolfpack spirit every Sunday night with Wolfpack All Access. Watch insider interviews with Nevada Wolfpack players and coaching staff every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Brought to you by Champion Chevrolet. Wolfpack Moving in Northern Nevada offers exceptional and professional door-to-door -door moving services seven days a week. Our clean-cut professional team will carefully pack and unpack all your items. Large or small, we handle it all. Hey, Jared, we got everything? Well, nice to see you, man. Right. For affordable and professional moving services with flat hourly rates, call Wolfpack Moving Company, 775-900-7638. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for all Wolfpack athletics. Back here. Back here inside Lawler Event Center. 
Alex Margulies, Keith Fuchs, as we get to our starting lineups presented by champion Chevrolet. Trucks as tough as the pack. Starting first with the Falcons. At the guard spot, six foot five junior from Houston, Texas, Ethan Taylor talks about him during the open dynamic guard who is averaging 17 points per game. Bo Becker, junior from Dallas, Texas, a forward at 6'7", 205 pounds. He was the third leading scorer last year and he's averaging almost 15 a game. Kellen Boylan, a six foot seven sophomore from Overland Park, Kansas. Jeffrey Mills, a junior guard from Texas. And Redis Petritus, a sophomore from Arlington, Texas. On the other side for the Wolfpack, same lineup for Nevada. Trey Coleman, Nick Davidson, KJ Himes, Jared Lucas, and Keenan Blackshear. Let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team and introduce you to Shannon Kelly. Yeah, guys, entering tonight's game, Nevada is tied with six other teams in college basketball for the most wins with 14. Head coach Steve Alford said this group is mature. They pay attention to the little details and they concentrate. They listen and they play really well together. He said, we always talk about know who you are and be who you want to be. That's the key. We may throw some curveballs at you at times, but we have to know what our identity is. Air Force head coach Joe Scott has really stressed the importance of we over I lately. He said, there's no eyes at Air Force, and if you're an I guy, then you're at the wrong place. He said, we're not as good as we have been and what we can be, and we have to figure that out. All right, thank you very much, Shannon. And we are underway here at Lawler Event Center. Nice crowd is filled in tonight here in Reno. On the first possession, Nick Davidson going inside. He is rejected at the rim by Becker. Becker, one of the top box leaders on the team. That's his 17th of the year. That is actually one of the calling cards of this Air Force defense. Surprisingly, they're not the tallest team, Keith, but they can protect the rim. Well, that is surprising. They're one of the top teams in the country at defending the rim when their tallest guy is only 6'7", so a big strength for them. Um, Nevada's going to have to finish strong when they go to the basket tonight. Here's a three-point basket on the way, and long from Jeffrey Mills. Ian Blackshear takes it down for the Wolfpack. Inside KJ Himes, and Himes is fouled going to the goal. Air Force Falcons led by Joe Scott in his 20th season of college basketball. We talked to him before the game, and certainly one concern of his coming off of the game against Utah State, where they really pounded the ball inside, was Nevada maybe going inside with KJ Himes, and on their second possession, that's exactly what they do. Yep, and that's the advantage that Nevada has, and it's something Air Force faces every game. Because, like I said, their tallest guy is six seven. So, teams that have guys around seven foot are going to attack them inside, and Air Force is going to have to figure out how they're going to defend down low against that size. So KJ Himes at the stripe, where he has hit sixty percent of his shots this year. And he will get the roll on number two. So the Wolf back out to a two nothing lead. KJ Himes, grad senior from Phoenix. His 93rd appearance in a Wolfpack uniform. Missed the majority of the season last year with that back injury. He has been a big force this year for the Wolfpack. Ethan Taylor hits his first triple. There he is, the 40% three-point shooter and one of the best in the Mountain West Conference. Nevada got lost in the Princeton offense there. Can't afford to let Taylor get loose amongst all the motion that Air Force runs, but they're going to get open looks like that all night and, and knock them down. Air Force on their first two possessions going from beyond the arc. It's a nice ball movement from Nevada, and Drake Coleman flushes it home. Air Force went for the double team on Blackshear, but no one had the backside covered. An easy pass for Blackshear to make for the wide open dunk from Coleman. It's a little bit of a cut you might see for this Air Force offense. It was. That's, they like to do a lot of backdoor cuts, dribble handoffs. Good defense there by Nevada, getting active hands in the deflection and right back from Air Force. Collision against Keenan Blackshear the other way with a quick score is Petritus. Redis Petrida is the sophomore from Arlington, Texas. He was the team's MVP last year as a freshman. 
but he is playing in only his seventh game of the year. Miss a bunch of time with off-season surgery, and he's got a block on the other end. Well, K.J. Himes got a good pass from the, into the post there, and just got to go straight up and dunk that or, or finish it early because he let the defenders get around him and get their hands on the ball. A little miscommunication there. And Bo Becker will pass it out of bounds. He was looking for Fitzritis. Air Force got off to a great start to begin the season 7-2 and two to open the year as Ethan Taylor emerged as a star player, averaging 17 points a game. Then they add Redis Petritis back into the mix. They have not really been able to find the flow. Nick Davidson hits the three from the corner. Well, that's the challenge of, of working such a key guy back in your lineup. He didn't have any preseason practice, and then the team's playing almost half their season without him, and then working someone like that back into the lineup. Coach Scott talked about it. Ethan Taylor kind of had to adjust his role after kind of being the man to start the season. And, and Air Force is still working through getting Petritus back in and, and working together as a team again. Nevada on the flip side, as we talked about in the open, maybe playing their best basketball of the season, coming off of a 15-point win on the road against Fresno State. Coach Alford said, anytime you win by double digits on the road in the Mountain West, you had to play really, really good. His team certainly did that. Very balanced scoring led by Lucas and Blackshear. As Jared unloads from three, and that one was too long. Lucas was a perfect three of three in that win against Fresno. He was 10 of 17 in his last three contests, hitting about 60% of his three-point shots. Well, he started off the season not shooting as well from three as he expected, but uh, it, it really started in Hawaii at the Diamond Head Classic. He found his stroke, and, and that, as a shooter, you just you just keep shooting, and eventually the averages kind of even out, and these last month of games, he has been on fire and, and going 100% from three against Fresno, looking to carry that into the Mountain West Conference play. Under 16 to play, the Wolfpack leading 7-5. to five. Only four to shoot here for the Falcons. They'll unload again from distance, and Jeffrey Mills connects. So the Falcons are 2 of 4, and they lead early 8-7. to seven. Well, if Air Force is going to win that game, that's how they're going to do it. They run, run this motion, Princeton offense, and try to get open looks in three. And if Nevada's going to not be able to defend that. They're going to make a lot of them and, and hang in this game and possibly win it. Lucas draws contact, wanted to have a foul there against Petritus, didn't get the whistle. Trying to kind of induce the contact. Yeah, Lucas just tried to, to draw a foul there, bait the ref into a call, and they didn't fall for it. AJ Hines out to defend the perimeter. Over to Taylor. Taylor goes around Davidson, and he Slams it home. Ethan Taylor with a one-handed spike. And the Falcons lead 10 to 7. But Taylor's gone fine. Petritus and Mills have triples. Last year, a little off balance. Second chance. Davidson rolls it in. Nevada's got to attack the offensive glass all night against the smaller Air Force team. They can get a lot of second chance points. Great block by Blackshear, but a good recovery. Byron Brown is there. Falcons back in front. They're four of eight from the field. And to shoot for the Wolfpack. Davidson over to Coleman. Blackshear in the corner. Takes the three. And Keenan hits the rare triple. Not his game. He's only hit three on the season in 12 attempts. But he knocks that one down. And we're tied at 12. And that was a good job. Recovering after not a great pass from Nick Davidson. And resetting his feet. Taking his time and knocking it down. Had 
trapping underneath the basket. And now a whistle goes against the Wolfpack, stops at 13-24. And that will take us to our first media timeout. Pretty good basketball here early in Reno. It's the Falcons and the Wolfpack tied at 12. Stay tuned to more here on Nevada Sportsnet. Hey, Pack fans, Renown Health is hiring people like you. There are clinical, non-clinical, and entry-level roles. Training and advancement opportunities. And terrific benefits and compensation. So, make your move. Apply today at renown.org slash careers. If your personal injury attorney spends more time working on marketing than working on your case, you're probably in the market for a new personal injury attorney. At Bradley, Drenel & Janae, our focus is on putting you first, not putting ourselves in front of the camera. Which is why we didn't let our lawyers know we were filming today. So they'd keep their focus where it belongs, on you. Bradley, Drenel & Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Can't choose between watching your favorite Mountain West team on TV or going everywhere else you need to be? With the official Mountain West app, you don't have to. Watch hundreds of Mountain West games and championship events, live or archived, from wherever you are, all for free with the Mountain West app. Available on mobile and connected TV devices. Download the Mountain West app today. Today's game is brought to you by Toyota, Let's Go Places, and by Northwest Reno Chiropractic, keeping local athletes on the field since 1985. Twelve, twelve. here early as we welcome you back inside Lawler Event Center. Keith Fuchs, Alex Margulies, Shannon Kelly is on the floor. Take a look at our keys to the game, brought to you by Bradley Drendel and Janae. Proud to support Wolfpack basketball. Go Pack. For Nevada, got to stay disciplined against that Princeton offense. When you talk to Joe Scott, he said, we just got to do what we do and play our style and not get away from that. And for Nevada, they have to defend against Princeton's offense. That requires discipline. Exactly. Air Force runs a unique offense that Nevada hasn't seen this season. They're not going to see from any other teams. And it's Air Force's real only advantage when they play more talented teams. And so Nevada has to be disciplined. We talked about the back cuts a little bit earlier. Watching off these screens, there's a back cut right there. But if Air Force is going to win this game, they're going to get Nevada moving around on defense, frustrate them, get back cuts, get layups, and open threes. You also talked about for the Falcons being disruptive. They've done a pretty good job early. A couple of blocks and a steal on defense. And well, offensively, both teams have been able to knock down a couple of threes. Yep, and Air Force is going to have to muck up this game. Force turnovers right on cue. They force one there to get some fast break points. And, and Nevada, when they're at their best, they're not turning the ball over. So if you're going to beat them, you have to force them to turnovers. And there's another back cut and a missed layup. Ian Blatcher quickly takes it the other way. Hunter McIntosh off the bench, fakes the three. Tries to go inside the low post for Daniel Foster, and a whistle goes against the Falcons. So McIntosh and Foster into the game. Nevada feels really good about this kind of seven-man rotation, including Foster and McIntosh. Both have been extremely efficient in their minutes. Foster, we even saw a start a couple of games this season, McIntosh really coming along strong as that bench three-point shooter and defender, kind of falling into all of these different roles. Well, you said it. That's exactly why Nevada has gotten on this role and is playing so well this season, is everybody knows their role, and they come in and they play it well. Whether it's Daniel Foster, he comes in, he plays great defense, he makes, makes hustle plays. Hunter McIntosh knows he's coming in to shoot some threes, handle the ball a little bit. Every single person knows their role, falls into it. They don't care about the stats. They just want to do their job, and it leads to wins. Nick Davidson, one of two at the line. He leads the Wolfpack with six points here early. Got it back in front, 13 to 12. Back 
Hopkins working inside for Mills. Mills on Foster. And a good finish there from Jeffrey Mills, one of the veterans on the team. Most experienced player for the Falcons. He's making his 69th appearance. Coleman, a lot of space there, and he's not going to miss that. Trey Coleman doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but when he has open ones, he's been able to knock them down this season. Tenth Boyd made three-pointer for Coleman this year, 10 of 38. Air Force looks to answer. That one won't go. Davidson pulls down the board. Blackshear trying to find Foster in transition and just out of his reach. That'll take us to another timeout at 11.42. Nevada spurts ahead, 16 to 14. They've hit 5 of 10 from the field. We'll back on top here in Reno. More to come right after this. At the Joint Chiropractic, we believe that everyone should have access to high quality, affordable chiropractic care. You are never too young or too old to start taking care of your body. Walk-ins are welcome at any of our five Northern Nevada locations for just $29, seven days a week. Plus, as a monthly member, you can get treatment at any of our 900 nationwide locations. Stop living with pain. Try the Joint Chiropractic today and give your body the relief it needs. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax Active Front Wheel Drive, 331 per month. A 2024 Chevy Equinox LS All Wheel Drive, 429 per month. Or a 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, just 42888. Don't miss Champions biggest kickoff sale yet. Can you believe there are some personal injury attorneys who are more comfortable in front of a camera than a courtroom? At Bradley Dreadle and Janae, our lawyers might be a little camera shy when it comes to commercials. But get them in a courtroom, arguing your case, and you'll be in for an amazing show. After all, your case is always more important than a commercial, even this one. Bradley Dreadle and Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. I'm Coach Chris Alt, and you're watching Nevada Sportsnet. Today's game on NSN is brought to you by Morning Howl from Hub Coffee Roasters. Buy online at grocery stores and at Hub Cafes today. A portion of proceeds benefit Nevada athletics. And by Savage & Sons, celebrating 130 years in Reno. A proud supporter of Wolfpack Athletics. Back here inside Lawler Event Center. We've got some special fans in attendance tonight, I'm being told. And for more on that, Shannon Kelly has the story. Nevada freshman Jazz Gardner donated 20 tickets for tonight's game to the Boys and Girls Club of the Truckee Meadows. They're all sitting together with Jazz section t-shirts on. Gardner said he's big on giving back to the community and wants to give back to young aspiring basketball players and kids in general that won't get an opportunity to experience a college basketball or NBA game. He said he hopes to make their day just a little bit brighter and hopes it won't be the last time he's able to do this this season. All right, thanks, Shannon. Pretty cool gesture, Keith, from a freshman. Yeah, that's awesome for a freshman to, to go buy tickets for, uh, for a bunch of kids to come see, see a game. And great to support the community by him. Well, back lead 16 to 14, 11.20 to go here in the first half. Falcons get some pretty good looks on offense. Davidson closing on the shooter there. Forced the turnover. Blackshear trying to get some to go the other way, and Ethan Taylor was right in his mug all the way to the basket. Poked it out of bounds. Wolfpack will keep possession, but it's a good transition defense from Ethan Taylor. Taylor leads the team with 22 steals on the year. He's been a star offensive player, but he's also been one of the team's best defenders. Tyler Rollison into the game. Tylen Pope also in for the Wolfpack. How about that drive from Daniel Foster right underneath the basket. Strong finish. And Nevada's got their biggest lead. It's now four. Defense! 
more players in the game off the Wolfpack bench. The lone starter right now, Jared Lucas. In a low post, Tylen Pope there on defense. Pope watches as that one goes off the rim and miss. Second chance for Air Force, no good. And a foul goes against the Falcons. Well, that's where Tylon Pope has added an extra level to this Nevada team. Is he's, he's big, physical, and long, and plays really good defense, and he's athletic. It'll be nice to see how he does here in his first home conference game. Goes back out to a 9-2 run after a brief lead from the Falcons. Lucas in the basket. That time will get the foul as he drew contact against two defenders. Jared Lucas will go to the striper. He has been tremendous this year. 93%. He's already connected 78 of his points in 15 games for the Wolfpack this year. He is an excellent free throw shooter and he knows how to get to the line. In that play right there, he literally fell backwards into a defender knowing he was in the air and had to come down on him to get the foul. He gets easy points at the free throw line and then that helps him get his rhythm and that's when he starts hitting shots from the outside as well. Lucas with his first two points of the contest. That is five of six from the line. They're hitting 55% of their shots. Off to another good start, leading by six. And Nevada starting to do a little uh, full court press against Air Force, try to take them out of some rhythm. Bad defense there, but trying to get Air Force hurried up and not able to run that motion offense as much with the press. Rawls the true freshman from Southern California. Over to Lucas, the two coming from the same AAU program. Several years apart. And Hunter McIntosh stays hot from distance, hits the triple. Good look there by Rawlison to get it to, to McIntosh for the open three. Well, the balance with the Nevada offense, they've had four different players hit from downtown. They're four or five from the outside. When Nevada shoots like this from deep, they are almost impossible to beat. They are, and that was one of the weak points starting the season before that Diamond Head Classic. It seemed like everybody was struggling to shoot threes, and now they've finally started to connect from outside, and has, again, added another layer to this dangerous offense. Lucas trying to get around Beasley. Reset the play, Rollison back to Lucas. A couple of long arms in his face, won't get that one to go. Foster trying to clean it up, goes off his fingertips. Back the other way come the Falcons. Well, back lead by seven, their largest advantage. And a turnover inside on Chase Beasley. That was a great defensive possession by Nevada. You could hear on the court Tylon Pope yelling out at his teammates on defense. That's the key to playing against this motion defense, is communicating with your teammates, letting them know if you're going to switch a screen, if a guy's going back door. The more you talk and communicate, the better you're going to defend this offense. McIntosh fakes the three, drives inside, tries to penetrate. Kicked around and turnover forced by Air Force. That's their fourth. That averages only nine turnovers a game. One of the best in the country. Got a top 20 in terms of taking care of the basketball. Currently sixth at only nine turnovers per game. Reach and foul. Foster gets whistled there. Trying to take it away from Petritus. Bucks up, 7.51. Wolfpack pull ahead on a 10-2 run. It's Nevada 23, Air Force 16. More to come here on Nevada Sportsnet and the Mountain West Network right after this. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. 
It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax Active Front Wheel Drive, 331 per month. A 2024 Chevy Equinox LS All Wheel Drive, 429 per month. Or a 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, just 42888. Don't miss Champions biggest kickoff sale yet. Havers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Since 1874, the University of Nevada, Reno has been shaping young minds and bringing Nevada's best to the world. We're celebrating our 150th anniversary. From the silver boom to sustainability, the university has always been a leader in innovation and discovery. Here we live the Wolfpack way, where students strive to be their best, pursue their passions, and make a difference. Join us in celebrating 150 years of inspiring excellence. Go Pack! The buzz around the Mountain West brought to you by Morning Hell from Hub Coffee Roasters. Pack strength in a cup. Buy it today at grocery stores, online, or Hub Cafes around northern Nevada. Proceed benefits Nevada Athletics. Look at the standings, Keith. Three teams ranked right now in the top 25 of the AP poll. One of them could be on their way to their second straight loss here in Mountain West Conference play. The Colorado State Rams, who lost last week to the Utah State Aggies. Right now, they're losing 50-37 to against Boise State. So the Broncos having something to say about all these other teams being ranked in the top 25. That is a dangerous team coming into Lawler Event Center on Friday night. A very dangerous team, and, and it speaks to this, the strength of this conference. Colorado State has been ranked in the top 25 now for almost the last month. They beat a top 10 team in Creighton. And now, starting off, they could lose two out of their first three in the Mountain West. This conference is extremely tough this year, and it's not going to be easy for anybody to come out unscathed. Out of the timeout, Petritus hits a three. Jared Lucas trying to answer, misses the first time, gets his own rebound. That one won't go. Another chance this time. Hines trying to bully his way around. He'll kick it out. Hunter McIntosh, he gets the penetration, finds a wide open Tylen Pope. Fourth opportunity for Nevada. And Rollison is fouled going to the basket. Nevada couldn't buy a basket, but great job attacking the offensive glass there. Nevada got all their offensive rebounds maybe for the entire half right there in one possession. Some of those were more fortunate bounces, but also good hustle to keep that possession alive. Jared Lucas off to a slow start from the field. He's 0 of 5 as Rollison hits the first. We'll back into the bonus. Seven personal fouls against the Falcons. Rollison hits both. The bat has been very good from the strike, not only in this game, but from all season. Seven of eight today. It was also kind of a big calling card for them last year. Well, back by six. Falcons back inside with Mills. Mills against the smaller Rollison. Help defense from behind. Wolf back get the steal. Now it's Rollison on the move. Pope trying to spin his way to the basket. They'll sight him for an offensive foul. The arm kind of went swinging, and uh, Petritus really sold that one. I, th I think he took the liberty. If you watch the replay here, you'll see the swing from Pope, but I think he sold that one. Yeah, Pope, Pope caught him a little bit, but it wasn't, he didn't really extend the arm, but Petritus selling it is what really got the call. Smart play, though, from the sophomore. Offensive foul against the Wolfpack. Pope now playing for his second week with the Wolfpack, made his debut out in Hawaii in the Diamond Head Classic. Somebody that the Wolfpack were very excited about coming in as a transfer from Tulane. 
of an enforcer on defense, guy that can also help score the basketball. He's still trying to kind of find his way after missing almost the first two months of the season with a broken hand. You can still see that hand tightly wrapped up. And he's, he's working his way back into the lineup, finding his rhythm, especially on offense, but he does provide athleticism and size and length for Nevada, which has already been huge for their defense so far since he's been back. Sixth game of the year for Pope. They're coming off with two offensive fouls for the Wolfpack. A.J. Himes getting in there. He was a big presence on that play, swatting it away. Looks like a whistle goes against the battle. Looked like a clean block. I don't know if they called a foul or just out of bounds here on Nevada, but great job by K.J. Himes. Crowd doesn't like it. Falcons have to hurry here. They've only got three seconds to shoot. They'll get it off. That one well off the mark. Out of the hands of Becker. Blackshear taking it coast to coast. Gets the bucket. Great job of attacking on the fast break there by Keenan Blackshear. And going under control to the basket. Especially after the refs has called back-to-back -back offensive fouls on the battle. Wolfpack by eight and they have really spread it around offensively. Eight different players have entered their names into the score sheet. Nick Davidson leads the way with six. Keenan Blackshear has five. As the whistle goes against Hunter McIntosh. Move it from the Falcons. They'll have to hurry here, though. Four to shoot. Down to three. Taylor at the buzzer gets it off. And Becker secures the offensive board. Well, that was an excellent defensive possession by Nevada there, but got to secure the rebound. Now they're going to have to guard for another 20 seconds. And there's a foul right there on Keenan Blackshear. And I know Keenan doesn't like the call. Feels like he got all ball, but they just called a foul on Hunter McIntosh in that exact same situation. Blackshear's got to be a little more aware that the refs are looking to call that. No reason to reach there. Wolfpack is really a good, a good, good job defending the interior. They have made it really hard for the Falcons to get to the basket. And they will turn them away that time. Well, they gave up a couple layups and a dunk earlier in the game, but they've adjusted, started giving more help on those backdoor cuts and protecting the rim. Double team on Blackshear and a quick foul on the Falcons. Well, you asked Coach Scott earlier in the game, or before the game when we were talking to him, how to slow down Keenan Blackshear, Jared Lucas. It looks like the solution. He didn't give it to us, but they've doubled Keenan Blackshear in the post every time he's touched it. He got beat for a dunk earlier, but uh, right there almost forced a turnover, but ended up fouling Keenan. He basically said, Blackshear and Lucas are going to get theirs. We just can't let everybody else beat us. That's essentially what he said, but you know, at the same time, if you can kind of disrupt what Keenan Blackshear especially wants to do, if you get him going a little too fast, he, he has a tendency to try and do too much, and that's probably the idea there. Send two at him. Force him to try and do a lot more than he usually wants to and get uncomfortable. Wolfpack, a veteran team, one of the oldest in college basketball, and they certainly look at, like it. Here on this Tuesday night, a 10 point lead on the young Air Force Falcons. Coach Cotton talked about how the fact that there will be five players that will only be playing their second ever Mountain West Conference game. All those Wolfpack veterans, Coleman there on the interior defense. Hawkins will take another look at it. They have not had much to work with outside of their three-point shooting. 
And offensive foul on Air Force. You can see the frustration from Taylor. Not getting anything going against this Wolfpack defense. Nevada has it going here in the first half. A 10-point lead, 29-19. They lead final media timeout. Are you ready to upgrade your home? Look no further than Envision Glass, your full-service glass experts. Our team of expert professionals offer a wide range of solutions, from residential repairs to full installations to fit your budget with free in-home estimates. With Envision Glass, you can expect on-time arrivals, the highest quality materials, and exceptional workmanship. And installations are backed by our five-year warranty. Trust the full-service glass experts. Choose Envision Glass for all your glass repair and upgrade needs. Visit EnvisionGlass.com. At Big O Tires, trust means an entire line of affordable, top-quality tires drivers can depend on. Like the Bigfoot All-Terrain 2 and Big O Legacy All-Season, all backed by a warranty that's raising the bar of industry standards, ProTech Plus. While trust is guaranteed, great deals don't last forever. Get $100 instant savings on select in-stock Big O brand tires, plus zero interest if paid in full within 12 or 6 months. Big O Tires, a team you trust. It's the Winter Meltdown at Michael Hole Chevrolet GMC in Carson City. Save lots of cold cash on the hottest deals during the Winter Meltdown sales event. Get sizzling deals on the coolest new trucks, like $10,000 off MSRP on new 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500s. Or pick up the red-hot new 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 with savings up to $10,000 off MSRP. Don't be left out in the cold. Head to the Winter Meltdown. Going on now with Michael Hole Chevrolet GMC in Carson City. You're watching Nevada Sportsnet. Today's game on Nevada Sportsnet is brought to you by Champion Chevrolet. Trucks as tough as the pack. And by Bradley, Drendel, and Janae. Go Pack. Coming up on our renowned health halftime reports, a feature story on Trey Coleman and his new role as a father, proud dad is Trey Coleman. Mike Stephenson did a great piece on the Coleman family for this past weekend's Wolfpack All Access. If you missed it, you'll catch it right here in just a couple of minutes on halftime. We'll also take a look at the first half highlights and take a look at the stats from this one. Nevada has been very polished here early, 47% shooting. They've hit four of seven from downtown. They lead the Falcons 29 to 19. So taking care of business exactly as expected so far here in their home arena. As Keenan Blackshear has whistled for the Wolfpack's third offensive foul of the half. Well, that's where Nevada's got to be smarter, especially Keenan Blackshear. Air Force is going to try and take a charge every single time, and the refs are giving them the call. So you got to be more under control going to the basket. Jump stop, expect that they're going to try and take that charge on you. Second personal foul for Blackshear. He's the only Wolfpack player with two fouls. Falcons also into the bonus now. Falcons trying to work it around, trying to find the open shooter. Nevada's done a really good job with hands in the face. Five to shoot. Outside, gonna have to hurry. Taylor's running out of time. Did he get it off? No, he did not. Shot clock violation. Another excellent defensive possession from Nevada. After starting off the game, like I said, giving up a few of those backdoor layups, they are flying around on defense, and Air Force can't get an open look. And I know the Falcons, they like to kind of churn down the clock. They like to work long possessions. But in these long possessions, they're not getting much of anything. They're not, and that's a testament to Nevada, sticking with them and not letting them get any good looks. They're communicating and switching on all the screens, stopping backdoor cuts. So it's a testament to Nevada's defense. But, but yes, yeah, somebody on Air Force, Coach Scott doesn't want him to go one-on-one, -on -one, but eventually someone's going to have to take a little something on their own to try and get something going. Most likely going to have to be Ethan Taylor here. Well, back again, tightly defending that three-point line. But Tritus trying to go around Coleman, gets around Davidson as well. Gets the hard bucket. And Redis Petritis 
with nine points to lead the Falcons. Timeout, Steve Alford. And we'll stop the clock here at 2.02. Take a rewind at what happened for the Wolfpack a couple of weeks ago in Paradise. They had to go down to the Diamond Head Classic in Hawaii and an impressive victory in the tournament. Keith, Nevada wins over Temple, TCU, Georgia Tech. They had a scoring margin of 15 points. Jared Lucas, Keenan Blackshear were tremendous on the all-tournament team. Really, that was a week for Nevada, including a win over the home Rainbow Warriors separate for the tournament. That was a week that could not have gone better for this team. It went absolutely perfect. You know, Nevada started off the season well. They had one tough game against Drake. To go to Hawaii and beat three really good teams, plus, plus Hawaii, who's probably going to win the Big West and go to the NCAA tournament, they put their stamp nationally and probably put themselves into the NCAA tournament as long as they don't screw something up in conference. But it was a huge confidence booster for them and a great resume building week over in Hawaii. Nick Davidson with the basket. Are they going to count that? Looks like they call that foul on the floor. Davidson has had a strong half for the Wolfpack. He's got seven points. So Davidson and Blackshear with seven apiece. Nick Davidson had himself a coming out party over in, in Hawaii. He had a couple of huge games, uh, especially against TCU. Had a double-double against the Big 12 team. So it's, that's another big part of Nevada's success this year. Is, how he has stepped into the role as kind of their third best option on offense and embraced it. Pretty amazing to think that he is only a redshirt sophomore and he has got a lot of time left here in the silver and blue. Next year, Nevada will not have Keenan Blackshear. They won't have Jared Lucas. And you can imagine Nick Davidson taking on a starring role without those two. Certainly seems like he'll be ready for it based on the way that he has played this year. Davidson with 10 or more points in two-thirds of the Wolfpack's games, including that double-double against TCU. Also, the super impressive double-double against Temple, where he had 19 points and 16 rebounds. Just demolished Temple in that one. He's made huge jumps from last year to this year in everything, offensive scoring wise, rebounding wise, he's gotten bigger and stronger. If he keeps making these leaps from year to year, he's going to be a star over the next couple of years for Nevada. I was not able to confirm if he got his surf time in, <laughs> in Hawaii. <laughs> Coach Alford said he was not gonna let him do it before. I, they, they did have Christmas day off, so maybe he had a chance to catch some waves. Maybe that would have been a good little Christmas present for him, but I, uh, <laughs> I also think Coach Alford would have regretted it if something happened in the water, so. <laughs> Nick, of course, from Southern California, from Mission Viejo. No stranger to a surfboard. I'd like to see that six foot seven frame out on a board. Yeah, that'd be a sight to see. Down to five to shoot again for the Falcons. Having a hard time getting an open shot. Taylor's got a force one, and it rattles out. Look back quickly in transition. Foster to the basket. Contact as he was going up. Didn't draw a whistle. Unable to finish, and the Falcons take the ball with 14 seconds left. Well, I know what Daniel Foster is trying to do there, but he didn't really have the numbers, and with only 20 seconds left, probably could have pulled that out and gotten the last shot. And now Air Force nails one at the buzzer. That's a, that's a big swing going into halftime. Nevada leading by as many as 10. That lead cut to six as the Falcons convert with a big triple from Bo Becker as time expires. The Falcons get three threes, including that one from Becker to make it 30 to 24. Let's go down now to courtside. Shannon Kelly has 
Coach Noodles. Coach, you guys have made it difficult for Air Force to get to the bucket, but still they're extending possessions using the clock. What's it going to take for your guys to continue to lock down on defense in the second half? Well, we just got to play better offensively. I mean, we're not we're not getting the shots that we want. We're not playing very smart offensively. Should have saved for one shot there, but defensively we're doing a nice job. We're putting a lot of effort defensively. We got to play better offense. Just what adjustments do you guys have to make? Because you're shooting it well from three, but just to be able to get some better yeah, open looks. Yeah, they're doing a good job with that, but we got to get our main guys going. Keenan and Jared got to get going for us. So hopefully we'll do that in the second half. All right, thank you, Coach. Guys, back to you. All right, thanks to Coach Neal for that. Uh, Nevada leading by six. But as he said, Jared Lucas 0 of 7. Keenan Blasters had seven points and set a solid first half. Wolfpack maybe feeling they left something out there in that first half. We'll have something to talk about with the coaching staff here in our halftime. We'll set it to break our renowned health halftime report on the other side. Our feature on Trey Coleman is coming up next. At Key Acura, we know that the purchasing experience is just as important as the car you drive. That's why we offer our limited engagement sales process, making your purchase quick, seamless, and smooth. Find yours at Key Acura of Reno. Hey Reno, how is your car looking? At Sierra Car Wash, a convenient clean is only minutes away. Visit any of our 11 express and full service locations serving the Reno, Sparks, Carson City, and South Lake Tahoe communities. Save money on every car wash when you become a Sierra Unlimited member. Become an unlimited member and never pay full price for a car wash again. No commitments, just clean. Find your neighborhood Sierra Car Wash at sierrawash.com. Wolfpack Moving in Northern Nevada offers exceptional and professional door-to-door -door moving services seven days a week. Our clean-cut professional team will carefully pack and unpack all your items. Large or small, we handle it all. Hey, Jared, we got everything? Well, nice to see you, man. All right. For affordable and professional moving services with flat hourly rates, call Wolfpack Moving Company, 775-900-7638. What makes for a great personal injury attorney? Is it how fancy your office is? Is it the size of your biceps? Or the size of your billboards? Nope, it's the hard work you put in every day to help your clients face the road ahead after an injury. But being able to read small print helps too. Bradley, Drenel and Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. At Key Acura, we know that the purchasing experience is just as important as the car you drive. That's why we offer our limited engagement sales process, making your purchase quick, seamless, and smooth. Find yours at Key Acura of Reno. Today's broadcast on NSN is brought to you by Renown Health and by Circus Sports. Check out Wild Card Weekend at the Circus Sportsbook inside Legends Bay Casino in Sparks. Back here inside Lawler Event Center, it's time now for our Renown Health Halftime Reports. Renown proud to be affiliated with the University of Nevada Reno School of Medicine, helping educate the future doctors of Nevada. Wolfpack leading here at the break, 30 to 24. And as I mentioned a few minutes ago, we had a great feature this past weekend on Wolfpack All Access on senior Trey Coleman, who has taken on a new role, not only as a basketball player, but as a young father. Mike Stephenson has the story. Down in the post, double team, shot clock at three, steal. Here's Coleman ahead of the pack, slammed up. Trey Coleman's Nevada career has been all gas and no breaks. It's been a long journey, but it seems like it just it went so fast, being 18 to already 21. While in silver and blue, the Jeffersonville, Indiana product has gone from a boy to a man and now to a father. This is my daughter, Isla. 
In August, Coleman and former Wolfpack player Bethany Karstens welcoming Isla Renee to the world. I think she looks like me. That moment in the hospital when you first hold her is just, it's so surreal. You know, you can't really explain it in words. It's just a different type of feeling you've never felt before. It's a different level of motivation going out there and playing in front of your daughter, just, just knowing she's there watching you. But Isla's birth also bringing a different level of challenge with a senior school year and season still to go. We didn't plan it, so everybody was surprised. But uh, when everybody found out, they were all supportive. Something like that happens in, in your collegiate days. You've got to continue to do what you do as a student, continue to do what you do as a player, but understand the responsibility there is of being a father. Steve Alford proving to now be Coleman's coach and a bit of a parental counselor. We were in Oregon, and he had a big bag of gear from the Adidas store. And uh, I said, what's in that sack for your daughter? And he shook his head, and I said, it's the first thing you got to learn, so let's go back in the store, and I'll help you. Surrounded by support, Coleman is quick to deflect any credit for balancing baby and ball. Her mom, Beth, does a very, really, very really good job helping me do that, the little things that I can't be there for or something because I'm on a road trip or I got practice her game. So she just, she does a very really good job, and I appreciate her a lot for that. Though he will claim at least a few diaper changes. I change a good amount of times, but her mom definitely changes her more. But the true change has come from within the Wolfpack 6 7 forward. I noticed that things that uh, mattered before to me don't really matter now that I have a daughter, and like my main focus is her, you know, just trying to get better for her and doing better for her. Oh, yeah. When I know I'm not getting back in the game, I'll like tap Keenan and be like, look at Isla. You know, it's, it's, it's real cool. I love Isla. I love kids in general, really. I feel as if he's a good dad, great dad, great role model for Isla. And yeah, I love him. Yeah, I love her. Trey Coleman fakes the top of the key three, drives in, hangs in the air, fouled and countered at the rim. She really takes my mind off, really like, like life, you know, like responsibilities and stuff. I just, you know, talk to her, even though she doesn't talk back, but she just, she just chills. Oh, just wait. She'll be talking back in no time. And Coleman has plans to make those girl dad chats really count. I just fill her up with knowledge and about life and like about reality, and, you know, and just live the right way and do the right things. Including the right sport? Future Hooper or what? <laughs> of course, of course, no, no choice. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks again to Mike Stephenson for that. So I remember Trey showed up to one of the first press conferences of the year. I'm like, who's this? <laughs> it's always a, a cool moment. You can tell he's having, a, he's having a really good time being a dad. All right, so we'll have more coming up here on our Renown Health Halftime Report. We'll break a look into the halftime highlights of this one. Nevada leading Air Force 30-24. to 24. Let me help. Let me help. You've got this. You've got this. Okay, let's do some math. One, huge selection. Two, no dealer markups. Three, lower taxes. Four, 65 miles to savings. You don't have to be a mathematician to see these numbers add up to Wild West Chevrolet being the smart choice. What's your number? Check us out online or in Earrington. We're offering our free loans up to $5,000. Really, zero fees and free interest on a loan for a full week. But what happens after the free week? Let's say you borrow $1,000. The first week is on us. And after that, it'll only cost you $5.50 per day. Keep it out another day, week, or a year. If you need that $1,000 for an additional week, it would cost you less than 40 bucks in interest. Your first loan is on us. There are a lot of reasons why people become attorneys. I wanted to help people. That's why I'm changing the game. Text me today and get an answer today. 
I don't get paid until you get paid. Simple, local, easy. Text or call me today. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for all Wolfpack athletics. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. And by Good Feet. For sore feet, aching back, even plantar fasciitis, find pain relief at the Good Feet store. Welcome back here inside Lawler Event Center. Halftime. Nevada and Air Force, 30 to 24 the score. Halftime brought to you by Renown. Let's go now and take a look inside the numbers presented by Savage and Son, serving Northern Nevada for over 130 years. Nevada shooting 40% from the field, four of eight from downtown. But the key stat, seven turnovers. Keith, as I mentioned before, Nevada top 10 of the country. They only average nine a game, so certainly as you heard there from Coach Neal before we went to halftime, they were not terribly pleased with their offensive performance. No, they weren't. And, and the key for Air Force before this game was to disrupt Nevada, kind of muck up this game, and they've done that. Force Nevada to try and do a lot of things they don't like to do. Uh, forcing into, into the paint, drawing charges, uh, and making, making Nevada get out of rhythm. And most importantly, they've done a good job on Keenan Blackshear and Jared Lucas, who have not had their typical game so far. All right, more to come here at halftime. Wolfpack leading by six. More from Lawler Event Center right after this. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the Savage Way, and it has been for over 130 years. This is what a fight looks like. That's right, this is an attorney at Bradley Drenlin Janae fighting for a client. It may be hard to tell, but he's winning big. Maybe we should add some fight sound effects to make it more thrilling to watch at home. Okay, watching us fight isn't that exciting, unless you're the client that just notched a big win. Bradley, Drendel, and Janae, the number one firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. We're the Jansons with SierraBuys.com. We know the easiest way to sell your home. If you have a few minutes, we hope that you'll give us the opportunity to make you an instant offer on your house. With SierraBuys.com, we'll buy your house in as-is condition with no inspection, no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. You can even choose your own closing date. Call our dad for an offer on your house. 455-4500 to sell your house today. At Big O Tires, trust means an entire line of affordable, top-quality tires drivers can depend on. Like the Bigfoot All-Terrain 2 and Big O Legacy All-Season, all backed by a warranty that's raising the bar of industry standards, ProTech Plus. While trust is guaranteed, great deals don't last forever. Get $100 instant savings on select in-stock Big O brand tires, plus zero interest if paid in full within 12 or 6 months. Big O Tires, a team you trust. Halftime here inside Lawler Event Center. The Wolfpack and the Falcons will be right back with the second half action right after this. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax Active front-wheel drive, 331 per month. A 2024 Chevy Equinox LS all-wheel drive, 429 per month. Or a 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, just 42888 Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Where else can you join a full-service gym for just $20 per month? European Fitness Center. 
We've just finished our half million dollar renovation to bring you all the newest equipment and most satisfying experience all around. For only $20 per month, you'll gain access to the gym and all its amenities, including free personal trainers, spa, swimming pool, cardio theaters, and more. That's zero to join and just 20 per month with no hidden fees. It's the brand new European Fitness Center. Get in and get fit today. Are you ready to upgrade your home? Look no further than Envision Glass, your full-service glass experts. Our team of expert professionals offer a wide range of solutions, from residential repairs to full installations to fit your budget with free in-home estimates. With Envision Glass, you can expect on-time arrivals, the highest quality materials, and exceptional workmanship. And installations are backed by our five-year warranty. Trust the full-service glass experts. Choose Envision Glass for all your glass repair and upgrade needs. Visit EnvisionGlass.com. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. I'm Coach Chris Alt, and you're watching Nevada Sportsnet. Second half action here inside Lawler Event Center. Keith Fuchs, Alex Margulies, the Wolfpack leading by six points. Wolfpack led by 10 points, but a late three from the Falcons got them right back into the action. Nevada got off to a great start in the first eight minutes or so. But slowed down the rest of the half. Here is Jared Lucas with a catch and shoot three. And Lucas still having a hard time finding his shot. He is 0 of 8. Let's go to Shannon Kelly. She had a chance to talk with Joe Scott. Yeah, guys, Coach Scott said they just have to keep doing their thing. That was the biggest thing he said for this second half. They have to keep doing their thing, putting pressure on the ball. I asked him about how they've been able to slow down Jared Lucas and Keenan Blackshear, and he said, well, can we do it for 40, 40 full minutes, 20 more minutes? We'll see here in this second half. Blackshear trying to get out of a double team, looking to get it out to Davidson. He's clocked. Going the other way is Petritus. They'll slam it home. Well, we talked about Blackshear and Lucas having to get themselves going in the second half, and now they're both trying to force things. Lucas with a pull-up three that he bricked, really out of rhythm, and then Blackshear there kind of forcing the issue, going right into a double team and turning the ball over. Not a good start for Nevada to the half. And the Wolfpack lead all of a sudden is only four. They led 29 to 19 with two and a half minutes left in the first. Davidson and Blackshear, seven points apiece, five from Coleman. Nevada did have four different players hit from the outside. Davidson only three to shoot. Outside Coleman, Coleman's got to hurry. And that's a shot clock violation. So Air Force has to feel like they're playing some pretty good ball right now. They have sustained the first punch from the Wolfpack. They have kept themselves in this contest. They've got the basketball down by four here with 18 to play. And they've got all the energy and momentum to start the second half. That might slow it down as they call it travel there. A couple of veteran Mountain West coaches. Joe Scott now in his second tenure with the Falcons, his 20th year of college hoops. Coach Alford now his 33rd year of college basketball, fifth at Nevada. Inside, KJ Hines. Good possession by Nevada there, moving the ball and a great entry pass from Trey Coleman. KJ Himes finished strong down low. Nevada was just one of 10 before that slam dunk. Coach Alford tonight trying to get his 110th Mount West Conference win. That one's blocked inside by Hines, but a whistle goes against the Nevada big man. He can't believe it. I don't think anyone can believe it, including Air Force. That looked like a clean block. I don't know 
what the ref saw there. That was a great block by KJ Himes coming over from the weak side. Free throw attempts up and in from Kellen Boylan. His first point of the contest. There's Coach Alford. Two from Boylan, Air Force within four. Falcons have only been at the free throw line for three attempts compared to 10 and 12 for the Wolfpack. Last year, three players in front of him spin around in the paint. That won't go. Well, Air Force is starting to just pack the paint, sag into the lane, and try to force Nevada to take outside shots and not give him really anything close. And that this is what's forcing Keenan Blackshear to get frustrated, just trying to get inside any way that he can. That baseline jumper won't go, but Trite is flying in, trying to take it away from Davidson. Can't get it done. Wolfpack were scoreless for almost four minutes until that dunk by K.J. Himes. They're trying to get themselves back in an offensive rhythm with Wolfpack. When they were up by 10, kind of flying high in that first half. They were shooting 55% at that point. Now just shooting 37%. On the other side, Lucas catch and shoot. Got it. There he is. Jared Lucas has arrived after an 0 for 8 start. His first triple in Nevada, just like that in front by 7. Well, that could be a huge, huge swing in this game. Air Force got a block on the K.J. Himes dunk and then a careless, careless turnover that leads to a Jared Lucas three, and now Nevada's back up seven when it could have been a two-point game. Their second chance opportunity for the Falcons. Eight seconds to shoot outside for Becker. Petritus with Blackshear on him just chucks it up, and that's not going to happen. Timeout on the floor, 15.49 to go. Joe Scott not happy with his star sophomore. The Wolfpack back in front by seven here in Reno. Okay, let's do some math. One, huge selection. Two, no dealer markups. Three, lower taxes. Four, 65 miles to savings. You don't have to be a mathematician to see these numbers add up to Wild West Chevrolet being the smart choice. What's your number? Check us out online or in Earrington. Accidents happen, but when they impact your life, you need a team that understands. Get the justice you deserve. We are real lawyers for real people just like you. Go lightly in Vanna, 222-3333. Hey, is there a Wolfpack game this week? Yes! Let's go, Wolfpack! Hi, I'm Jack Stanko with Champion Chevrolet. We'll see you at this week's home game. Go Wolfpack! Hey, Pack fans, Renown Health is hiring people like you. There are clinical, non-clinical, and entry-level roles. Training and advancement opportunities. And terrific benefits and compensation. So, make your move. Apply today at renown.org slash careers. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Savage & Sons, celebrating 130 years in Reno, a proud supporter of Wolfpack Athletics. And by Morning Howl from Hub Coffee Roasters, pack strength in a cup. A portion of proceeds benefit Nevada Athletics. Mountain West Conference battle on our hands tonight here at Lawler Event Center. Wolfpack back to a seven point lead. Air 
Air Force has done a really good job at slowing down the Wolfpack pace. Nevada had, was able to really kind of move it around quickly in the first half. Much more deliberate now, but Jared Lucas is getting himself going. Hit the three earlier, hits that one. He's going to the free throw line to make it a four point play. Great shooters just need to see one go down and then get right back in rhythm. And now Jared Lucas hits two in a row. Chance for a four point play here. And this has to be so incredibly frustrating for Air Force. They kind of claw themselves back into the game within a blink of an eye. Nevada's back in front by 11. And that's why you talked about Joe Scott being so upset during that timeout. They had just gotten a great stop and a chance to cut the lead down to two. They throw a terrible pass down court, get it stolen. Jared Lucas, three, they're down seven. Now here they are, down 11, just like that. They can't afford to make mistakes like that against better teams if they want to win games in this conference. Falcons. Working there, Princeton offense. Four to shoot. Inside Petritus, and he is fouled by Daniel Foster. Foster upset at the call, but just can't get beat back door there. Let Petritus go right behind him, get in possession for a layup, and end up having to reach in to try and make up for his mistake and ends up getting the foul. Something to note, too, and pay attention to, Keith, we've seen this from Nevada a couple times in this game, is really putting more pressure on Air Force as they're coming down the floor. The last couple of possessions, it's been kind of a three-quarter court press and really making those possessions even more difficult for the Falcons. Exactly. They did a little bit in the first half, and it's really just make them start their motion offense later in the possession, right? You, you work some clock. They want to work clock, but if they're spending eight seconds in the backcourt, that's less time they have to do all that movement and back cutting in the front court, and makes it easier for Nevada to guard. Trey Coleman missing his first attempt, got his own rebounds and fouled on the putback attempts. Now it goes against Bo Becker. It's his second personal. As Coleman misses the first. Coleman five points on two of four shooting. He also has a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists, and a steal for the Wolfpack. Convert at the line. Wolfpack 11 of 15 in the contest. It's been a big disparity. They are plus 10 in attempts on Air Force. One to shoot. Got to get it off. And fouled with one second is Ethan Taylor. That looked like great defense by Hunter McIntosh. Not sure what he's supposed to do there. Another questionable call on Nevada there. Line is Byron Brown. So he's Brown, not Taylor. And Brown makes one of two. Or excuse me, he makes both. That's four points for Brown. Air Force back within seven. Lucas, can he make it three in a row? Yes, he can. Jared Lucas has caught fire here in the second half. He has got 12. On a perfect three of three. Now it's Taylor driving inside the paint, kicks out. Petritus has to force a shot. That one's not going to go. And stepping out on the attempt to rebound was Brown. Now 
another great defensive possession there by Nevada. Guarding for a full 30 seconds against that motion offense. And <laughs> Joe Scott is not happy with Petritus again going into this timeout. Timeout here at Lawler Event Center. 13.29 to go. Nevada leads by 10. 42 to 32. This is a Bradley Adrenaline Janae personal injury attorney. He's in his office, right here in Reno. Unlike a lot of Vegas personal injury attorneys who say they have a Reno office, our attorneys actually live here. Nothing against Vegas, but we know Reno and how to win cases here better than any Vegas lawyer ever could. Bradley Adrenaline Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax Active front-wheel drive, 331 per month. A 2024 Chevy Equinox LS all-wheel drive, 429 per month. Or a 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, just 42888 Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. At The Joint Chiropractic, we believe that everyone should have access to high quality, affordable chiropractic care. You are never too young or too old to start taking care of your body. Walk-ins are welcome at any of our five Northern Nevada locations for just $29, seven days a week. Plus, as a monthly member, you can get treatment at any of our 900 nationwide locations. Stop living with pain. Try The Joint Chiropractic today and give your body the relief it needs. You're watching Nevada Sportsnet. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Pavers by Porter, Northern Nevada's premier hardscape contractor, locally owned and operated since 2007. And by Toyota, conquer the off-road with 4Runner. Visit your Northern Nevada Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. Nevada buying 10, and once again, they're Impressive backcourt duo of Jared Lucas and Keenan Blackshear leading the way. Look at these numbers over the last five games, Keith. Lucas averaging 21, Blackshear averaging 17, both shooting over 50% from the fields. They have truly been one of the best backcourt combinations in the country. And they are going to be a nightmare for opposing teams to try to defend. Frankly, we talked to Joe Scott and was like, how do you try and stop Nevada? And he's kind of like, you're not really going to stop those guys, right? And you said before, you can find ways to frustrate them and maybe get one of them to get frustrated. They did that against Lucas in the first half. Well, here he is now in the second half, bursting with 10 points in less than seven minutes. Exactly. I mean, when you're playing great players like Jared Lucas and Keenan Blackshear, a lot of it is just hoping that they might have an off night. And Jared Lucas, you saw in the first half, wasn't shooting well. Blackshear hasn't really shot as, as well either. But eventually, they find a rhythm with, with Lucas. It just took one shot to get him going. There's only so much you can do against great scores and great players. And when you have two of them on your team like Nevada does, you're at a great, great advantage against anybody that you play in the country. Keenan Blackshear makes one of two from the line. Nevada back to their largest lead of the night at 11. Got it once again with that pressure up the court. They know Air Force is going to try and draw out these possessions. They want to give them even less time to set things up exactly. in the half court. The later that Air Force starts their possessions, that's a win for Nevada. If they're starting their possession with 20 seconds on the shot clock, 15 seconds on the shot clock, that's a win right there. They have to rush through their motion, try to find something faster, makes it easier for Nevada to guard. So they get called for another foul there. Falcons after the foul from Nick Davidson. Tylen Pope back into the game, pokes it out of bounds. Pope hasn't played a ton in this contest. Saw about a minute of action in the first half. Now back into the game. 
Wolfpack going to a nine-man rotation in this one. On the drive, Petritus, and he is met by some resistance at the basket. Here's Blackshear the other way, and Blackshear with the finish. Beautiful finish by Keenan Blackshear. Scooping it under the defender's arm. So Nevada Stars are in double figures. 12 now for Lucas, 10 for Blackshear, and the Wolfpack lead by 13. Big time answer by Bo Becker there, knocking down the three as Nevada was looking to open this game up. Timeout on the floor by the Air Force Falcons at 12.06. And they will extend that to our media timeout. The Wolfpack on a roll, 45 to 35. They lead in their Mountain West Conference home opener. This is the first new ad Bradley Drenlin Janae has made in about two years. Instead of filming new ads, we've been doing what we do best, representing our clients after a life-changing accident or injury. And they need us working on their cases, not new commercials. So that's what we decided to film. Your work is more important than this. Bradley Drenlin Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Big O Tires. Trust means an entire line of affordable, top quality tires drivers can depend on. Like the Bigfoot All Terrain 2 and Big O Legacy All Season. All backed by a warranty that's raising the bar of industry standards. Pro Tech Plus. While trust is guaranteed, great deals don't last forever. Get $100 instant savings on select in stock Big O brand tires, plus zero interest if paid in full within 12 or 6 months. Big O Tires. A team you trust. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Pavers by Porter, Northern Nevada's premier hardscape contractor, locally owned and operated since 2007. And by Toyota, conquer the off-road with 4Runner. Visit your Northern Nevada Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. 12.06 left in this one, Nevada leading by 10. Let's go back now to the third member of our broadcast team in Shannon Kelly. Yeah, guys, the University of Nevada Athletic Department named its Hall of Fame after Wolfpack great Dr Dick Traychock today. For nearly three quarters of a century, Traychock's influence on the athletic department was profound. He starred as a halfback at Nevada in the 1940s, went on to be the team's head coach for almost a decade in the late 1950s, was the university's athletic director for almost two de decades after that, and created the Wolfpack Hall of Fame in 19. 73. Two years later, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and his family was here today in his honor. As they were recognized during one of the earlier timeouts in honor of Trey Chalk as he passed away back in 2020. All right, thank you very much, Shannon. You know, there's a, a reference bleeding silver and blue. I'm not sure anybody bleeds silver and blue more than dictate Trey Chalk. Absolutely not. That's a, a great honor and well-deserved. Uh, probably nobody nobody more worthy of having the Hall of Fame named after them than Dick Trachok, the Nevada legend. Absolutely love the old pictures and the leather helmets. Oh, yeah. Very active at Wolfpack events up until his passing. Certainly missed by many, many people. Wolfpack leading by seven points. Keith, we didn't get a chance to ask you this earlier, but did want 
just kind of your adjustment needed by the Wolfpack or adjustment of the game brought to you by Northwest Reno Chiropractic. It seems like what you had picked out are two things Nevada certainly is doing well right now. Yeah, it was slow down on offense to take care of the basketball. They're trying to force a lot of things on offense. It was leading to turnovers. They're getting called for charges, bad passes, just trying to do too much instead of playing their game, slowing down, taking care of the basketball and not turning it over. They started to do it here in the second half, and that's why they've gotten this lead back up to nine. Nevada had seven turnovers in the first half, only two here in this second half. That adjustment of the game brought to you by Northwest Reno Chiropractic. They strive to get you out of pain and out of the office as quickly as possible for the least cost. Walk-ins welcome. Visit NorthwestRenoChiropractic.com today, helping local athletes stay on the field since 1985. Waxer on the drive, off the glass, won't go. Kept alive by K.J. Himes. Now they'll try and steal it away from Tylen Pope, who walls off Kellen Boylan and allows that ball to escort out of bounds. Heads up play there by Pope, knowing that he couldn't pick it up himself. Just making sure that Boylan couldn't get to it, knowing that the Falcons had touched it last. Probably uh, avoiding putting his hand anywhere where someone can hit it, too, to not re-injure it as well. So smart smart on a personal level for uh, Tylon Pope there. Well, back, another miss there. That is led by as many as 13. Their lead now at 9. Becker on the drive. Fills it in. Bo Becker has had a nice game. He's got eight points, five rebounds, and a couple assists. Becker, the junior from Dallas, averaging 15 a game. That's double his output from last year. He has really rebounded after scoring only two points in Air Force's loss to Utah State to open up their Mountain West Conference season. Well, he's hit a couple threes now, and that forced K.J. Himes to run out to the three-point line try and contest the three. And Becker went right by him for the layup. Got to be more disciplined there by K.J. Himes on defense. Jared Lucas going for his 4-3 of the half. That one was looking pretty good out of his hands. Rattles out. Blackshear 12, Lucas 12 to lead the Wolf back. Petritus 13 for Air Force. Backdoor cut. Finish at the basket from Brown. And just like that, the Falcons are back within five points. Wolfpack crowd getting back into this one. And Nevada's had a few opportunities to bust this game open with double-digit leads. And they just haven't been able to finish on offense, and now they're getting... Letting Air Force get open shots and that backdoor layup on defense. Just not doing the things that, that they've had success with in this game. And they've let Air Force come back in here and cut it to five. Blackshear spins around the defender. Works in between a double. Fancy moves there from Keenan Blackshear. Well, one of the keys was slow down on offense. That, that's what I mean. Keenan Blackshear in the post. Spin move, but he took his time. Saw the defender coming. Just an easy little step through for a layup because he wasn't out of control. Took his time in the post. That's Keenan Blackshear to me showing his veteran savvy. Last year, Keenan Blackshear probably would have knocked somebody over or he would have turned the ball over. He had so much poise on that play. Exactly. Very poised move. Something that he, he had a couple possessions in the first half where he rushed, rushed the move, got called for an offensive foul, turned it over. That was just a good, savvy move on offense. Blackshear, who hit a three in the first half, trying to go for another one. Won't get it. Coleman flying in for the rebound, trying to get it to Davidson, but it's stolen away by Air Force. Wolfpack commit their 10th turnover of the game. So one more than their season average, which is only nine turnovers. But it's only their third of the half. Defense, 
Taylor with some space. Catch and shoot three is good. Ethan Taylor into double digits. He's got 11. Falcons inching closer and closer. They're back within four now. Rollison behind the back. Rollison trying to get the N1. It trickles out. But the freshman will get himself to the free throw line. Seven nineteen to go here in the final half of play. The Wolfpack led by 13. Now it's down to four. Dear Winter, we're coming. Our squad of vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of our game. Bundle up. Toyota. Toyota has 22 all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, more than any other brand. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Can you believe there are some personal injury attorneys who are more comfortable in front of a camera than a courtroom? At Bradley Drennel and Janae, our lawyers might be a little camera shy when it comes to commercials. But get them in a courtroom, arguing your case, and you'll be in for an amazing show. After all, your case is always more important than a commercial, even this one. Bradley, Drennel and Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Are you ready to upgrade your home? Look no further than Envision Glass, your full-service glass experts. Our team of expert professionals offer a wide range of solutions, from residential repairs to full installations to fit your budget with free in-home estimates. With Envision Glass, you can expect on-time arrivals, the highest quality materials, and exceptional workmanship. And installations are backed by our five-year warranty. Trust the full-service glass experts. Choose Envision Glass for all your glass repair and upgrade needs. Visit EnvisionGlass.com. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for all Wolfpack athletics. Today's broadcast on Nevada Sportsnet is brought to you by Bradley, Drendel, and Janae, proud to support Wolfpack basketball. And by Champion Chevrolet, home to the hardest working cars and trucks in northern Nevada. Time for our Good Feet Rebounding Tracker. Come to good feet for a free, no obligation arch support fitting. Experience the pain relieving comfort, balance, and support of good feet arch supports. Pretty tight there, Keith. 26 to 24 in favor of the Wolfpack. Nevada has had eight offensive rebounds, yet they've only had six second chance points. They haven't really been able to take quite as, as advantage of those offensive boards. Another thing the Wolfpack not taking advantage of is their free throws. Here in the second half, they have made only two of eight opportunities, and these free throw misses have really kept Air Force into the game. <laughs> Rawlinson getting all of his points at the stripe in this one. He's three of four. About a 13 of 21 for the game. Just over seven minutes to play. Petritus with Coleman on him. Now they'll go inside, trying to get that backdoor cut. Defended well by Coleman. Inside on Blackshear, he falls down. And a travel on the Falcons. Good job by Keenan Blackshear there. Not reaching in and getting a foul. Ends up forcing the turnover on the travel. Back patient here on offense. Low post, Davidson, he's double teams. Perfect pass for Coleman, and Coleman finishes. Great job by Nick Davidson being patient down low with the double team, and great job by Trey Coleman back cutting into the lane. Davidson finds him for the layup. Excellent offense there by Nevada. Becker hits another three. Oh, Becker having a big game for the Falcons. His third triple, he's got 11, and Air Force is back within four. High 
Next year, can't finish inside. Last touch by the Wolfpack. It's Air Force basketball at 6.03. Keenan Blackshear can get to the lane like that and usually score, but in this situation, when you're only up four, Air Force has got some momentum. You want to get a good shot. It's better off running a little offense, move the ball side to side, make the defense guard a little bit, and then Keenan can get that drive to the basket later on in the possession. But it's got to make Air Force work a little bit defensively. Lucas able to corral the rebounds. Outlets to Davidson. Davidson over to Coleman. Inside, back to Nick, and Nick jammed it all. Nice little give and go between Davidson and Coleman. Those two have found the connection here, a couple possessions. That was just veteran offensive basketball. It was. This is a big, big possession here. The crowd sensing the moment. The loudest they have been all night. Five to shoot for Air Force, but tried is short. The entire crowd can't believe that wasn't a backcourt violation. Well, it's a live ball off the rebound, and it got tipped out. So not, refs made the right call, not calling it there. But they seem to be discussing it now. This crowd turning it ornery <laughs> tonight here in Reno. <laughs> they haven't liked a lot of the calls all night. So Nevada's got a guard here now, 24 seconds. Again, play some great defense against this motion offense. Five seconds to shoot for the Falcons. Offensive foul. Wolfpack stand in there and take the charge. Well, that defense possession was won by Trey Coleman earlier on. Air Force tried to run a little screen for a three for Ethan Taylor, and Coleman played it perfectly, saw what was coming, got over the screen, and then Air Force was just forced to try to find something and ended up turning the ball over. A little more than four minutes to go. The Wolfpack lead by six. year 16 for Keenan Blackshear and that's what I'm talking about with that last possession with Blackshear run some offense loosen up the defense you get an easier easier path to the basket stolen away by Coleman and the Wolfpack have restored order in the last couple of minutes Blackshear again Bucket plus the foul. Eighteen for Keenan Blackshear. Nevada leads by ten. 58-48. Final media timeout here at Lawler Event Center. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the savage way. And it has been for over 130 years. This is a Bradley Adrenaline Janae personal injury attorney. He's in his office, right here in Reno. Unlike a lot of Vegas personal injury attorneys who say they have a Reno office, our attorneys actually live here. 
Nothing against Vegas. But we know Reno and how to win cases here better than any Vegas lawyer ever could. Bradley, Drenlin, Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. It's the Winter Meltdown at Michael Hole Chevrolet GMC in Carson City. Save lots of cold cash on the hottest deals during the Winter Meltdown sales event. Get sizzling deals on the coolest new trucks, like $10,000 off MSRP on new 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500s. Or pick up the red-hot new 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 with savings up to $10,000 off MSRP. Don't be left out in the cold. Head to the Winter Meltdown. Going on now with Michael Hole Chevrolet GMC in Carson City. Today's game on NSN is brought to you by Renown Health and by Good Feet. For sore feet, aching back, even plantar fasciitis, find pain relief at the Good Feet store. Some big upsets tonight in college basketball. Colorado State, who already suffered a loss to start Mountain West play against. Utah State has fallen against Boise State, 65 to 58. Those same Broncos come to Lawler later this week. And not only that, number two Houston has fallen to Iowa State, 57-53. They were the last unbeaten team in college basketball. So a busy Tuesday night where nobody is safe. Conference season is gonna be wild all over the country this year. Lots of good teams. Lots of potential upsets, and, and especially in the Mountain West. Colorado State's not going to be the only team to lose a couple on the road in this conference. Air Force got back within four, but that is regains a double-digit advantage. Led by Keenan Blackshear, who's got 19 points. Open shot for Becker, who has been on tonight. Bo Becker has almost single-handedly kept the Falcons in this game. That's his fourth three, he's got 14 points. The junior from Dallas is a 41% shooter from the outside and he has played like it today. Nick Davidson, another big dunk for the Wolfpack, he's in double figures. Big time finish from Nick Davidson and a great pass by Daniel Foster on that backdoor cut. Nevada can get a stop here in a basket. They can pretty much put this game out of reach. Air Force is going to try and run their offense and, and look for Bo Bickle. Becker, excuse me. Had to shoot. Taylor misses. Davidson corrals the rebounds. Davidson close to getting another double double. He's got 12 and 9. on his way to the basket and he takes a hard fall. Keenan will take his time going to the free throw line. Head to Circus Sports inside Legends Bay Casino for Wild Card Weekend NFL games all weekends long. We'll be there on Thursday for our taping of NSN tonight. If you want to come check it out in the early afternoon. You can also download the Circus Sports app inside Legends Bay Casino and make bets anywhere in the state of Nevada. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nowhere to go for Taylor. Now he kicks it out. Petritus has a three. Petritus only taking his second three-point attempt in the game. Can't connect there. He's got 13 points, 5 of 13 shooting. That is slowing it down now, up by 13 points. Well, Keenan Blackshear has, has closed this out on offense for Nevada down the stretch, but Trey Coleman has made about four small but really, really good plays on defense, and that's a, another questionable call on <laughs> Jared Lucas. But Trey Coleman, about four possessions here in these last five minutes, has just made great, great plays on defense that have stopped anything the Air Force has wanted to do. And that's how, really how Nevada has then gotten the ball and scored and gotten this lead up to 13. Coming our way. Blackshear had only seven points at halftime. He's got 21, so 14 in the second half. Lucas only had two points at halftime. He's got 12. So both players, double-digit outputs here after halftime, playing like the stars that they are. As Lucas goes in, he's fouled. And he'll head to the free throw line to shoot two with the Wolfpack in the double bonus. <laughs> That is 17 of 25 in the stripe in this one. Lucas has made all four of his. He was 31 of 31 to start the season from the stripe. Makes both there. So he has now made 26 straight free throws. So 31 to start the season. Now he's got a 26 free throw streak. That's amazing for anyone to do, but to have two consecutive streaks like that is incredible in the season. Just speaks to how good of a shooter he is. Speaking of, Ethan Taylor not going away yet hits the three. Lucas told me earlier this year on the Jared Lucas Show, which you can catch again this Thursday, he said that he's just trying to beat Coach Alford's free throw record at Indiana, which was 92%. So right now he was at 93 to start the game. He's off to a, uh, a pretty solid start there. It's always good motivation when you can uh, have something like that to hold over your head coach's head. So uh, if he finishes it, he'll, he'll let Alford know that for the rest of his life. By the way, the coaches and players always do a half-court shot at the end of shoot-around, and it's players versus coaches. Coach Alford hit the halftime shot this week. I think it was like his fourth. Sounds about right. He banged it in. I don't think the players liked <laughs> him going to the bank. Take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Wolfpack. Boise State on Friday night. That is a typo. It is an evening game here at Lawler Event Center. So a nighttime game against Boise State. Next week at San Diego State at Wyoming. That is going to be a tough trip for the Wolfpack. They will spend the entire week basically out on the road, and then they'll come back and face the Colorado State team. That could be really licking their chops. The Rams, as I mentioned, have suffered consecutive defeats in the Mountain West, losing to Utah State and then losing again tonight to Boise State. And again, those Broncos, a chip on their shoulder, a lot to prove as they come into Lawler Event Center here on Friday night. This place should be absolutely rocking, Keith. Absolutely. It's always fun to play Boise State. But that's the real beginning of conference. Nevada needed to get these first two wins just to get two under their belt. But now the tough stretch of the season begins. Boise State, they haven't had the start to the season that they wanted, but they're still a very, very good team that's going to compete for the conference title. Then they have to go on the road 
at San Diego State, the defending runner-up in the nation at Wyoming. And then, like you said, Colorado State is going to desperately need a win. They can't afford three early conference losses in the first month. So they're going to be coming in here looking for a win. The Mountain West season is going to be a gauntlet for Nevada. Yeah, Colorado State, I mean, they looked as good as a lock maybe for an NCAA tournament at large bid coming out of the non-conference season, but three straight losses to open the conference year could really derail that conversation. Falcons fighting for it here in the final seconds. Davidson gets the rebound. That means another double-double for Nick Davidson. The second of the season, second of his career, and a fantastic way to cap off the 15th win of the season for the Wolfpack. Nevada tops Air Force 67 to 54. The Wolfpack are now 15 and one on the year. And they have won their last four consecutive games against the Falcons dating back to the 2020 season. Keenan Blackshear leading the way with 22 points. And he was stellar again in this one. Keith, we're gonna name him our player of the game brought to you by Pavers by Porter. Keenan Blackshear, tough choice, a lot of good performances out there, but he was sensational. He was, especially in the second half, and that's what he does for this team. He closes out games, and for the last eight minutes, he just took over on offense, got to the basket when he wanted, and closed this game out for Nevada. Player of the game presented by Pavers by Porter, Northern Nevada's premier hardscape contractor, family owned and operated since 2007. Visit paversbyporter.com today to start your free consultation. Blackshear even hit a triple in the first half, not necessarily his forte. It's good to see him hit, hit a three-pointer. He might want to start taking more to get the defense to, to play him a little tighter out there so he can get to the basket better. But if you're not making him, don't shoot him. 22 points on 7 of 13 shooting. He was 7 of 11 from the stripe. Three rebounds, three assists a steal, and two blocks. And Shannon Kelly has got Keenan Blackshear. Keenan, Coach Neal said at halftime you guys weren't playing very smart offensively. What was it in the second half, though, that you guys were able to get back into a little bit of a rhythm, slow down, and just play your game to be able to come away with the win tonight? We're a veteran team, and uh, really, the coach allowed us to play basketball, and just came in halftime said, calm down, just play basketball. They got us out of sorts with how, how they play offense and stuff like that. Just chewing the clock to 30 seconds, but just go out there and just play offense. You mentioned the veteran leadership. You saw Jared Lucas. He rattled off three, three threes in a row there. You had some big buckets, Nick Davidson. What does that just say about the character of this team to be able to come out with this close win? We're resilient. That, that's a great team on the uh, Air Force right now, and they, they play hard. Uh, they play they play to the last second, uh, and... We, we had to put our hard hat on tonight, and we came out with a win. Putting on your hard hat, 2-0 in Mountain West play. Now you welcome Boise State. Have a couple of days to rest. How important will it be to get some rest before the Broncos come to town? You know they're going to be hungry, too. Yeah. I, uh, I was following the game before the game uh, at Colorado State. I think they held them to 20 points in the first half, and uh, it's going to be a good game. Uh, there's always been history with Boise, really, and we just need to uh, – we just need to focus on them going forward, and I think we'll be fine. Anything you want to say to the Wolfpack fans before Friday's game? Uh, come out and support. Thank you so much. Thank you, Keenan. Guys, back to you. All right. Thanks to Keenan Blacks here for that. Thanks to Shannon Kelly out there, our courtside reporter here on NSN. And, Keenan, if you remember last year here at Lawler Event Center when Nevada played Boise State, it was Keenan Blacks here's heroics at the end of the game that secured a home win for Nevada. That was an excellent game by two teams who ended up making the NCAA tournament. It's going to be another high-caliber, intense game come on Friday. Lawler's going to be packed. It's going to be two really good teams and a really, really fun game to watch. All right, let's go to our play of the game. That's brought to you by your Northern Nevada Toyota dealers. And Nick Davidson, who finished with a double-double. This was just a fantastic sequence with Davidson flushing it home with authority. Yeah, just a frantic kind of play, and then... A veteran move by Davidson, getting the pass, finding the open lane, cutting and then avoiding the steal and throwing it down. With Tacoma, no trail is left unchallenged. Visit your Northern Nevada Toyota dealer today, Toyota. Let's go places. Well, this is our final 
men's basketball telecast of the season here on NSN. We'll be right back here tomorrow night as the Wolfpack women's basketball team will be here and excited to have that one for you here on NSN. The Wolfpack improved to 15-1. They'll be back here on Friday night, a big showdown against the Boise State Broncos. I want to thank Jay Ray Doctor here behind the scenes. Our entire production crew led by Anthony Resnick. For Shannon Kelly, Keith Fuchs, I'm Alex Margulies saying so long from Lawler Event Center. The Wolfpack, victorious. Thanks for watching on Nevada Sportsnet. Good night. This may be your first car wreck, but it's not ours. Lerner Rose helped over 150,000 people recover billions of dollars in settlements. Results matter. Lerner and Rose can get you more. Call 644 -44 Where else can you join a full service gym for just $20 per month? The European Fitness Center. We've just finished our half million dollar renovation to bring you all the newest equipment and most satisfying experience all around. For only $20 per month, you're getting access to the gym and all its amenities, including free personal trainers, spa, swimming pool, cardio theaters, and more. That's zero to join and just 20 per month with no hidden fees. It's the brand new European Fitness Center. Get in and get fit today. Gas, food, rent, everything's expensive, and we get it. We're literally putting our money where our mouth is. For the first time in DLC history, we'll be offering free loans to all new customers. Need 500, 1,000, even 5,000? What you borrow is what you pay back at the end of the week. No fees, no interest, just the principal. It's a great time to see what makes Dollar Loan Center so inexpensive, fun, and transparent. At Big O Tires, trust means an entire line of affordable, top-quality tires drivers can depend on. Like the Bigfoot All-Terrain 2 and Big O Legacy All-Season, all backed by a warranty that's raising the bar of industry standards, ProTech Plus. While trust is guaranteed, great deals don't last forever. Get $100 instant savings on select in-stock Big O brand tires, plus zero interest if paid in full within 12 or 6 months. Big O Tires, a team you trust. When injured in an accident, our job isn't just to be your lawyer. We move money from the insurance company directly into your pocket. We turn injuries into cash. Go lightly in Vanna, 222-3333. Road trip. From the hip. Go with it. Change your POV. Driving you TV. Tell reality, BRB. Let your engines roll! Try a new pour. You never know what's in store.